Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a unique and quirky style RPG by the name of Battle Hunter that was released on the PlayStation back in 1999. The game actually had different names associated with it depending on the region in which it was released. But in Japan it also was released under the Super Light 1500 series of budget games. There was a couple of different budget series within the PlayStation's life cycle in Japan. The Super Light and the Super Simple budget series. So this was part of the Super Light series. So the game actually uses like traditional RPG style conventions such as like tile based movement using like turn based strategies and in order to complete levels the game actually does require users to hunt down likes of relics or to actually win or complete the levels before anyone else in order to proceed. So in turn what you can do is then you can use the relics or the items that you find throughout the levels as a means of investment so that you can use it to, spe to sell and upgrade your character's abilities and so forth to actually help you to get further on in the game. The game itself, the game world, uses a tile based format but the levels are actually created like in a random kind of generator so no two levels are ever really the same and you, when you're playing a level you usually have like around like four different types of hunters both likes of your control character that you're playing as and you might have three other players com computer control characters also in the mix as well so they're all trying to achieve pretty much the same thing the game itself when I first actually seen it how I actually became really familiar with it was I actually seen it on the likes of the PlayStation Store for the PlayStation 3 I actually had an, an American account that I'd set up a few years ago and I seen this actually on the PlayStation Store and I managed to buy it for cheap. It was actually going on sale at the time, and I think I got it for like under a dollar. I think it was actually going really, really cheap. So I was like, I'll try it and see what it's like, because I never actually really noticed it before. And I, I did see screenshots of it, and it looked interesting. I like the graphical style of it. It's kind of got like an isometric 2D style anime style graphics, uh, which looked decent. The game itself, now I will admit, for an RPG compared to most other RPGs can be a bit unusual to try and understand if you're not used to playing these type of games there is a kind of a unique system in play it uses like a, like card decks pretty much to determine the moves of the character of how many paces they can move at any one time on their turn or how they can influence or engage with like the environment that they're in so it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to so your main goal really is just to try and capture the relics before anyone else and to try and get out of the level as quick as you possibly can or either one or the other whoever gets to the highest relic first or finishes the level first you also want to make sure that you don't run out of the cards that you actually have because doing so will actually spawn like an, a monster in the level that's actually very very hard to beat and literally can destroy your character and wipe your character out leaving you to literally start the level over again the game itself did get mixed to average reviews at launch because again due to the play style of the game it's probably not the easiest to pick up and play of RPG style games especially if you're not used to these styles but if you are familiar with RPG type games this might be something actually worth looking into if you actually are looking for something a little bit different but again it may not be for everybody but it's totally up to yourself how you see it. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this game. Have you actually played it back in the day and are you into these type of games and do you understand more about them than I do? Be sure to share it down in the comments below. So if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be updated of future videos. As I am going to be exploring a lot more quirky style games like this and sharing my thoughts and experiences with everyone. So as always make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them. And keep those gaming memories alive.